Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the remainder of March 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you are able to get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Uh, if you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. Just make sure that you're registered at Bill Per Call. Request that call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within um, a seven-day time frame. And then also check out my Patreon if you haven't been able to do so. The Venus sign readings are done there uh, monthly as well as additional content that you might enjoy. All right, so overall energy, central issue, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. The Ace of Wands. The Eight of Wands. And the Four of Cups. All right, so I feel like you guys were trying to move on or there was something that you were doing you were just kind of going with the flow of things and um just going along with everyday life and then i don't know it just looks like something stopped you or block you felt blocked or like you couldn't go in a direction that you were headed in or you were moving on but then you got stuck at a crossroad something happened where now you're like I need to make a decision and I don't know if you're choosing yourself uh, versus another person or, or if you're torn between two people um, it does look like you've been trying to focus on yourself and it looks like you are wanting to make the right decision about your love life or the direction that is headed in so I feel like at some point you are going to do the right thing or do what you feel is the right thing to do after debating and thinking things thoroughly thinking things out thoroughly um i see that there may be a, an opportunity to make things right where they hadn't been so whether you're in a relationship or you're single i just feel like maybe someone is extending an olive branch whether it's you or a love interest but it seems like there's a willingness to, to forgive. Um, I still feel that there's going to be trust issues with whatever's going on. And there still needs to be better communication because either you say things without thinking or your love interest does. Or the way things come across can be hurtful or harsh. You may also feel like someone is only coming towards you for sex and it's just like, I don't want just sex. You know, something's going on where maybe you feel like you're being approached for sex or you don't really understand someone's intentions. Um, I feel like this is an opportunity to have a conversation with someone. This is an opportunity to start fresh. Um, so I do see some sort of flirting and it looks like at first the initial response is like guarded and then you just kind of start to allow things to play out and it looks like a lot of things are being expressed. Mm. But I feel like maybe afterwards, maybe someone decides that they're not really ready or they're not sure. They're like, I feel like a lot of things come out in a conversation, but then there's also that I'm going to keep this part to myself. Or it could be that something comes up in the conversation that makes someone start to build a wall up again. 
I almost feel like somebody's going to feel like they're talking to themselves. They're like, am I talking to myself? Are you listening? Have you heard anything I said? I feel like someone's heart keeps getting stuck. Someone keeps having emotional blockages. It looks like one minute there's some sort of breakthrough and then it's just like a blockage again. I think when things start happening really quickly, you feel like you need to put on the brakes. You're like, whoa, 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 this is happening too fast. Let's, let's stop, let's, you know, I'm going inside. I'm gonna talk to you later. I just kind of feel like someone closes the door because they feel like they're opening up too quickly. And then you start to question if you're ready or not. Or, you know, this is the energy of the other person closing you off because they're like, wait, let me try. I don't know if I'm ready. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I feel like there are some sort of um, issues with trust that need to be worked through. Also, 66 could be significant for you if you've been seeing sixes. I feel like that also is something, um, a, not a warning, but to remind you about balance, staying in balance, staying in alignment. Two of Cups, you guys are you guys are cautious of who you open up with, who you share things with. <clears throat> I feel too if something could be going on where if you are dating new people, maybe at some point you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to move on from the other person. <clears throat> so, so I don't know, something's going on. Where I feel like you're connecting really good with someone and then it, it kind of slows down or stops. Mm, but it's because of that emotional pain, like the fear of letting go fully. Mm. Something also could be going on in regards to... A relationship I think what it is is that you are asking yourself can you see yourself with this person but at the same time I feel like you can't stop thinking about someone it, it just seems like and it seems like maybe it's on both ends like you're facing this way they're facing this way so you guys are in some sort of um, living out some sort of parallel similar life where you're both thinking about the other person but and you feel stuck or you feel like you aren't ready to let go and it's something that you also seem like you can't figure out you're like how do i do this how do i let this go or how do i move forward hmm i almost feel like you're collecting love offers and then at some point you're like okay I've collected enough people I took enough applications let me sort some things through I feel like you're trying to figure out where your heart is really at maybe you don't know how to follow your heart I also feel like someone is guarded towards you Yeah. There's a need to let your guards down. Ugh. Hmm. I feel like you also may have been communicating with someone telepathically or through dreams. But maybe you are trying to block this energy or 
or they're trying to block you from connecting to them that way. You might be tired of indirect communication and feel like, no, I want to talk face to face. No more of this indirect stuff. And your personal interest could also be feeling like that. So I don't know whose end is coming from, but it does look like maybe someone is tired or fed up with um, metaphysical conversations. <laughs> Hmm. Someone doesn't seem to be able to fulfill your needs. Also, you might be someone who gets bored really quickly in relationships. And maybe you are trying to figure out why that happens. If you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, it may be something about them where you're just not connecting to them. Or... You could get rejected for a water sign. So the reason why someone is closing you off or becoming distant could be because they're focused on a water sign. Mm. I feel too like someone is coming into the picture and they're like, I can do what that person can't do for you. You know, I got what you need. So somebody might be trying to show you that they have... They're the solution to your problem. Maybe they're trying to, you know, prove that to you or show you what they can do. Mm. Either way, I see you having some sort of drastic changes. Something happens overnight or instantly. It's like you're having some sort of realization. If you're in a relationship, something could happen out the blue where all of a sudden you don't want to be, you don't want to be there anymore. And it looks like you let go or block the person. I guess, you know, it of course depends on how long you've been in this relationship. But for some of you, it does look like you just randomly decide to leave or break up. It just happens out the blue. It's like, I'm done. That was it. That's the last straw. I'm so over this, that, and the other. Hmm. I feel like somebody's in for a rude awakening. If you don't leave, someone might leave you out of the blue. Very unexpected. I see a very unexpected breakup. Or some sort of news that could be so devastating that you're just shook. It just you're it's like you were thrown a curveball. If you're single, something about your single life still looks like it's going to shift completely. Out the blue. Not necessarily that you're in a relationship, but that you make some sort of life changing connection. Hmm. So, Five of Cups, Lovers, The Fool, it does look like. If somebody was in a relationship, three of cups, yeah. It looks like if someone was in a relationship, they suddenly had the realization. Like, maybe it's just a conversation if it's not like a third-party situation. Maybe it's just a conversation that just, like, snaps you out of it. And you're like, what am I doing in this relationship? Like, I'm not happy. Um, yeah. And it ends in two of cups. Something that you were confused about, just it, you, you get hit overnight. Like it just hits you. You're like, what? Now I have clarity. Now I understand. It also looks like maybe outside forces had, had to intervene some type of way um, to make you wake up, to help you see something. And definitely if you have gotten complacent in some sort of situation, the universe is like, no, you only supposed to be taking a break. Like this is not your everyday life. Like that was just so you could clear your head. Now, 
this is what you're supposed to be doing. Some of you might be forced to relocate or move or something takes you away from a relationship or a connection. Say you were deciding that you wanted to move forward with somebody, then all of a sudden you get a notification that, you know, your new job starts and your new job is across the continent. You know, just something like that. I also feel like whatever long cycle you've been in, something that seemed like it's been taking forever to end, like it, it suddenly ends, just it seems like it's, it's overnight, but really you've been going through something for a while. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to start a new chapter in your lives, a new adventure. Yeah, you're headed towards love. There also could be someone that's been watching you, thinking about you, and maybe they weren't ready at first, but now they're ready to come forward. I feel like somebody is ready to put their feelings out there. You could be moving towards a water sign or away from a water sign. Some of you are tired of, <clears throat> excuse me, tired of being shot down by a fire sign or tired of a fire sign taking advantage of you um, or something that's been on and off with a fire sign, like you've been hurt too many times. And it's not saying it, you know, it's all the fire sign, but just whatever situation has been going on between you and a fire sign, you've been hurt from it. And it looks like you're... Um, you don't want to feed that energy anymore. You're like, I'm tired of feeding into this. This is becoming toxic or codependent. Um, and so I feel like you're walking away from something that wasn't healthy anymore. Yeah. All right, so hopefully those messages have resonated, but feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.